I want to make sure his hand gets behind. That's why I'm pushing to the small of his back here. Because the longer his hand dwells here, the easier it's going to be for him to potentially grab his own wrist there again and start to resist it. Okay? So immediately I push and I go straight into that position. And I'm right now I'm turning. You can't really see it, but I'm, I'm already turning my body in to put tension on that, sh on that shoulder joint. Okay? So I'm here. Push. Snake. Use my body now. My hip goes to hip to hip. And I control right here. Okay? You can see that it's causing him, as I push down with my hand and up with my elbow, pushing his hand away from his, it goes up his back and then away, and that puts that tension on his shoulder. It's kind of forcing him down in this direction. Okay? I would, in, in application of this technique, which we're going to get into later, I would need to continue with that force. Okay? But right now, we're going to go through the flow, and then we're going to come back to each technique and refine them a little bit.